TikTok has been taken down from Google Play Store and Apple App Store following the government's move to ban 59 Chinese apps for allegedly engaging in activities prejudicial to the sovereignty and integrity of India, defense of India, security of state and public order. However, several other apps including UC Browser, WeChat, Bego Live and Shein are still available to download on both stores. Meanwhile, TikTok has responded and said that they are complying with the ban and have been invited to respond and submit clarifications to the concerned government stakeholders. The ByteDance owned company further said in a statement that it meets all data privacy and security requirements under Indian law and that it has not shared any user information with the Chinese government. Samsung has announced the launch of its latest flagship smart TV, the Serif. The lifestyle TV will come in three sizes, 43 inch, 49 inch and 55 inch and will cost 83,900 rupees, 1.17 lakh rupees and 1.49 lakh rupees respectively. It will be initially available only on Amazon, Samsung's official online store and select Samsung smart plazas and at a special price on the e-commerce platform from July 8th to July 17th. The Serif TV has got an iconic eye-shaped design created by a French designer duo and features a 4K QLED panel along with NFC and AirPlay 2 for connectivity. It comes with 100% color volume, quantum processor 4K, HDR10+, and upscales everything to 4K picture quality. There's voice control on board with Alexa and Bixby built in and other features including multi-view, personal computer mode, multi-voice assist, auto hotspot among others. Along with the Serif, Samsung has also introduced its new range of 2020 QLED 8K TVs in India. The ultra premium smart TVs are available in 4 sizes, 65 inch, 75 inch, 82 inch and 85 inch. They have a starting price of 4.99 lakh rupees and go up to 15.79 lakh rupees. The smart TVs will go on sale across all online platforms and all Samsung smart plazas from July 1st. On pre-booking the QLED 8K TV between July 1st and July 10th, consumers will get two Galaxy S20 Plus smartphones and can also avail a cashback of 15,000 rupees on QLED 8K TVs. The new TV range comes with real 8K resolution, 8K AI upscaling, quantum processor 8K and quantum HDR for stunning 8K experience. They are equipped with six speakers, object tracking sound plus, active voice amplifier and Q Symphony tech that allows them to be used as an external soundbar as well. The recently launched Realme X3 has gone on sale in India via Flipkart and Realme.com at a starting price of 24,999 rupees for the 6GB plus 128GB variant. It features a 6.6-inch Full HD plus IPS LCD display with a 120Hz refresh rate and a Snapdragon 855 Plus chipset coupled with up to 8GB of LPDDR4X RAM and 128GB of UFS 3.0 storage. The smartphone packs a quad-rear camera setup with 64 megapixels pixel primary sensor and a standard 12 megapixel telephoto camera. It also gets a 16 megapixel primary shooter and an 8 megapixel ultra wide snapper in a similar looking pill shaped cutout. The battery comes in at 4200 mAh and supports 30 watt fast charging. Realme's flagship smartphone, the Realme X3 Super Zoom, has gone on sale in India via Flipkart and Realme.com at a starting price of 27,999 rupees for the 8GB plus 128GB variant. It features a 6.6-inch Full HD plus IPS LCD display with a 120Hz refresh rate and a Snapdragon 855 Plus chipset paired with up to 12GB of LPDDR4X RAM and 256GB of UFS 3.0 storage. The smartphone has a 64-megapixel quad-rear camera set up with 5x optical zoom, 60x periscope zoom as well as a pre-loaded starry mode for astrophotography. The X3 Super Zoom packs a dual selfie snapper in a punch hole display that includes a 32-megapixel Sony IMX616 primary sensor. There's also a side-mounted fingerprint reader and a 4200mAh battery that charges at 30 watts over USB-C. According to reports, Realme Nazo sales have crossed 3 lakh units in over a month of its first sale in India. The company had launched the Narzo 10 and Narzo 10A smartphones in India on May 11th, the first sales of which began on May 18th and May 22nd respectively. 
Realme also recently upgraded the budget Narzo 10A with a new 4GB, 64GB model which otherwise features the same 6.5 inch HD plus mini drop display and a MediaTek Helio G70 processor. The Realme Narzo 10 on the other hand gets a more powerful Helio G80 processor, a 48 megapixel quad rear camera setup and a 16 megapixel front facing shooter. The Realme Narzo 10 is available for 11,999 rupees for the single 4GB, 128GB model while the Narzo 10A starts at 8,499 rupees for the 3GB, 32 GB variant. Realme has announced the launch of a new budget smartphone in Malaysia, the Realme C11. It features a 6.5 inch HD Plus display and is powered by the Octa Core MediaTek Helio G35 chipset, coupled with 2 GB of RAM and 32 GB of storage that is expandable via micro SD card. There's a 13 megapixel dual rear camera setup and a 5 megapixel front camera with features such as AI beauty, filter mode, HDR, portrait mode, and time lapse. The smartphone boots the latest Android 10 and Realme UI on top and is powered by a 5000 mAh battery. The Realme C11 will be available in Malaysia for approximately 7600 rupees, with no word for Indian availability. The government is looking to license the import of 10 to 12 items including air conditioners and several of its components and parts of TV sets as it discourages the entry of foreign goods into the country, especially those from China, the Times of India reported. Unlike duty hikes which are across the board, licensing can allow for import from select countries. Similarly, entry through designated ports help monitor the goods better without holding up the entry of all items. Music streaming service Spotify is finally ready to show lyrics to various songs in real time. The live lyrics feature will offer real time lyrics in the language in which the songs are sung and will reportedly be rolling out in India and 25 other countries on June 30th. This is made possible by a new agreement with lyrics provider Music Match, which claims to have the largest catalogue of song lyrics with translations. Spotify users can use this feature by tapping the lyrics at the bottom of the now playing screen in Spotify apps. At this moment, it isn't clear what Indian languages will be supported by Spotify lyrics at launch.